hello Aquarius viewers. So last reading I did for you guys, I was getting, well that was about a month ago. I'm sorry I had to miss my, my mid-month readings because I was in um, Washington trying to find the soulmate that I have been telepathically picking up on for quite a little while now, especially the past couple of weeks. Um, but I am back home in California now, um, probably going to Washington again later to try to look for him again, but you know, back, back to doing my readings now. So the reading I did a month ago though, so I had to, sorry, I had to miss your readings a couple weeks ago, but the reading I did a month ago, I was getting that, um, someone thought they could deal with their issues alone behind the scenes, but it backfired on them. So this could be like... Someone going through a divorce, a custody battle, um, drug, alcohol addiction, gambling addiction, some kind of third party energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could just be like their own addiction or their own mental illness or their own traumas or pain or health issues or just things that they kind of wanted to deal with on the side. Um, I feel like they felt like they could do it alone. Like, I feel like they really put you on a pedestal. Like they really see you as almost above them. Like they think that you're beautiful, you're amazing, you're charming, enchanting. And they felt like it was like a health issue, like physical or mental health issue or custody or divorce. Um, you know, financial issues, some kind of energy. It's like something, their ducks were just not in an or not in a row. And I feel like the connection with you was very unexpected from that for, for them. Like they didn't, they weren't quite ready for you, but they wanted like emotionally, they were ready for you. Like they're ready to date you. They wanted to be with you. They see a future with you. I felt all of that, but I feel like something was just like their finances or something else in their life was just not in order. And they felt like they could keep it secret or they could just tell you a little bit about it, but not give you all the details and just deal with it on their own. But I feel like it's, it backfired on them because I feel like a lot of time ended up going by with you guys like not talking or like they were being kind of distant and you couldn't figure out why. And um, they kind of had this like epiphany moment where they're like, oh, wow, I haven't talked to them in like a month because they've been so stressed out and focusing on this. And they kind of felt like they could just, you know, wrap things up and take care of this and then come back to you later down the road when they were ready after they got this taken care of. But now they're kind of starting to realize they might end up losing you if they could if they keep putting you on hold like that so let's see what's that was what was going on like a month ago let's see or in this energy group at least that's what, what it was was what i was feeling so let's see what's going on now domination control courage assertiveness forward movement willpower strength confidence those are pretty good Ooh, look at all this energy these are some power cards right here. You've got domination, courage, like control, assertiveness, strength, confidence, willpower. It looks like someone's stepping up to claim you if they have not already. It looks like they're kind of realizing it's time. Some of them might have not had their finances together, but they might actually be getting them together now. Like maybe they just got a new job or they just got some something just shifted for them. So I see this as kind of like almost... I mean, see how glamorous this energy is, like male or female. It's just someone that like, like they've moved up in the world. You know what I mean? Like she's very fancy. She's, she's, you can tell she has money. You can tell he or she has money. So it's like something shifted. Um, so I feel like you might be getting a message soon. Some of them are kind of nervous about messaging you because they did not, they just took too long is what I feel. Like I feel like a lot of them, they should have just been honest with you about whatever it is. You know what I mean? But I feel like they thought that you would judge them or that you wouldn't want them. Like maybe some of them told you they were divorced, but the truth is the divorce was not finalized. Like in their heart, they were divorced. And it's a 111 if that means anything to you guys too. But, um, but it's like in their heart, they were divorced. Like they were, they felt divorced. They felt like they were done or they, you know, something of that nature. Um, or there's some kind of karmic cycle that like they, they told you it was wrapped up, but it like wasn't completely as much as they said it was. There's some kind of secret there and 444 also. So lots of numbers. Look, pay attention to numbers right now, to synchronicities leading you guys back together as well. But I just feel like, 
Well, this is a lot of strong energy. So they're they're coming. This is like chariot kind of energy here. So it looks like they might be coming in pretty strong, especially during retrograde because it's Mercury retrograde right now. And that typically brings people from the past back around. And it also puts us in our head. It makes us introspective, nostalgic. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you do end up getting the mess this message. And it's not set in stone. It's just this is just the energy. This is just what they're thinking about doing. This is where their emotions are at. They do have free will, so it could go either way. But they are wanting to message. What I'm is what I'm getting from this energy group. They, um, I think there is some, like, I feel a lot of strong energy here. So it, it, it seems pretty positive overall. There is some hesitation though, because like I said, some of them had this secret and like, they should have just told you and they didn't, they thought they could deal with it on their own and they took too long. And then like, I feel like, I feel like almost like they don't have a good sense of time. Like maybe like a couple of weeks or even like months went by and you had not heard from them or they were talking a little bit here and there, but it wasn't much. And at a certain point, you're just kind of like, what? Like, do you, do you like me? Do you not like me? Like, what's going on? Why are you being weird? Why are you being distant? Like, are you ghosting me? Like, you couldn't really figure out what was going on. And I feel like they feel stupid for that. Like, they... They're relieved that they've come to some kind of conclusion or that they're about to, like they've, they figured something out. Something has shifted for them in the past month is what I'm getting and it's shifted in a positive way. So maybe some of you have already gotten this message from them. I'm not sure, but it just feels like there is some hesitation because now that, because they were, they were stressed out. So let's say it's like a health issue or like finances or like a divorce that they were trying to focus on. All that, all their energy was going towards that. And it's not that they didn't, it's not that they didn't have feelings for you. It's just that they were really focused on getting out of that situation so they could be stable and actually give you a legit solid love offer instead of just, you know, dragging you into their drama with them. They didn't want to do that to you. They felt like you're too, you're too kind or too loving. They didn't want to put you through that drama and that chaos with them, whatever the situation was. And I feel like their sense of time was off because they were so stressed out and they were so focused on getting out of that situation. And now that things are finally shifting in a positive direction for them, they're like, they're like, oh crap, it's been a month and I have not messaged her or him, or it's been like a month and I have not gone over there. Oh my gosh. Like they're, it's like hitting them really hard now. They're like, oh my gosh, it's been a long time since we've talked. Oops. Like, oopsie. <laughs> Like their, their, their sense of time has come back now that they're not so stressed out. I hope that makes sense. And they're realizing they, they feel bad for putting you on hold, but at the same time, they kind of feel like it had to be done because they feel like you might've rejected them if you knew their secret. But I get a positive shift here. Open, honest communication message. They're wanting to reconcile. third party karmic yeah they were trapped by some kind of third party situation before and I think it's saying like I feel like they don't want to waste any more of their life without you in it but they kind of need to take things slow because even though like I feel like there was some kind of shift that happened but maybe it's like not a hundred percent figured out but it's like 80 percent figured out I hope that makes sense like let's say Let's say it's a divorce, like maybe they finally got the divorce, but they're still like coping with trauma or they're still, maybe they have kids together. So they still have to deal with their ex more than they told you they did because they have kids together or something like that. It's like something shifted drastically for them in a positive way, but they still kind of need to take things slow um, and just get to know it to know you again. Like they still kind of need to they're more stable than they were, way more stable. So I feel like they're more ready for you now, finally, but they still can't like dive into it. They kind of need like a slow and steady pace with this connection because I feel like there is like some, yeah, like you help them through this happiness, warmth, light. It's like there was toxicity in their life. There was like a, a car, like a negative karmic or some kind of negative third party situation, someone with hidden motives. And I feel like your light and your love, your support, even if you guys weren't talking just like energetically, telepathically, your support for them, your, your warmth, your light, your, you know, your radiance, all of that, it, it kind of helped them get through that male or female, you know, it just, it helped them get through it. 
This is a past life connection as well. You guys are going to be going out together soon. I feel, um, I feel like they might want to ask you on like a date or something. I feel like, like I said, there's still, I'm getting a lot of like very, um, like masculine energy cards. So this could be male or female. Could be, it could be a female and masculine energy too. It doesn't either way, whatever it is, but someone is in masculine energy. Someone is like assertive and confident and like ready. Like they're like, okay, I got this together. I, I got, they, they reached that, um, milestone. They reached something, something, um, shifted for them. Even if there's like some little details to work out here and there, they still, something still happened for them. You know what I mean? Something still came about, like maybe they just got a new job. And so it's like, no, they're not fully financially stable yet, but they have been looking for work for a couple months. And now they have a new job, something like that. It's like they, it shifted, but it's still a process. It's still, they're still kind of moving a little bit slowly, but, but I get a lot of strong energy here, like very like dominant kind of alpha type energy, like take control type energy. So they're, they're wanting to come back in. I feel like a lot of them are wanting to ask you on a date. There is some awkwardness. Like I said, they want to be open and honest, but like they feel kind of stupid because they're realizing how much time has gone by that they have not seen you or not talked to you. So they're trying to think of how they can start a conversation because um, they don't know if you're just going to be like, screw off. Like you haven't taken me on a date for a month. What, what do you think you're doing coming back around now? Like, you know what I mean? Like they don't know where you're going to be. But, um, but yeah, they're wanting to go out. They're wanting to, they're wanting, they've been stressed out a lot, but whatever this is, it's been stressing them out and they've been putting all their energy into, into getting it together to fixing it. And now that they've had that energy shift, they want to actually have some fun in their lives. Like they need to, they need to go out for a drink because they've been sad. They've been stressed. They've been confused. They're like, they, they need some, they need something. They need passion and romance back in their life. They need happiness back in their life. They've, it's been all work and no play. It's just been stress, stress, stress. Like fighting some, like fighting a third party energy, whatever it is, fighting to get out of poverty, fighting in court, fighting a uh, toxic karmic. It's gonna be different for each one of you, but it's just the general energy of some kind of third party energy that that kept you guys apart. And they're wanting to have fun again. They're wanting the passion and romance and excitement back in their life. So they're hoping to take you on a date. They're hoping. They're hoping to kind of dress up for you, hoping you'll dress up for them, get kind of like a sexual energy here. This is a potential life partner. And if this is your story and you would like a paid private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box below this video. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. But like I said, you can just copy and paste right below from the description box. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. Please subscribe if it resonates. Yeah, so the divine has been leading you guys back together. And that's why I'm saying notice the synchronicities too, whatever it might be. There might be like a certain song that comes on the radio, numbers, flowers, birds, um, certain animals, cats maybe. Maybe cats are significant. Maybe they have a cat or you have a cat and cats are your little spirit guides here or something. There's, there's The divine is leading you guys back together and this person is going to want to have... They want a new start now. They want to have fun with you. They want the passion and romance back. They want the honeymoon phase. They want to go on vacation, travel with you, have an adventure with you. This is a potential life partner. And this would not be, I just want to put that out there. Your guides would not choose someone for you that is toxic. So if you're watching this and you're trying to make it fit because you're holding on to someone that's toxic, this is not your, I hate to say it. I know it's harsh, but it's not your reading if that's the case. This is not someone that's toxic. This is like... Someone that's like a really positive person, but maybe they had a custody battle they had to go through and they had to focus on their kids and put their kids first. But now something shifted so they can come back and they have time to date now or like they wanted to they weren't financially stable enough for you. So they were trying to focus on finances. This would not be someone that was like abusive or toxic or cheated on you. This is not that energy. This is someone who is positive but just like right person, wrong timing. You know what I mean? Like they just had a lot on their plate and then the meeting you was very unexpected. I almost feel like you guys met because, I mean, this is a potential life partner, but I, I feel like maybe you guys met and it was like love at first sight or it was just perfect, amazing. And then they like separated and you got kind of confused, frustrated, heartbroken. I feel like you needed to come into this person's life to get them out of stagnant energy because like, let's say that they... Let's say that, for example, the secret was that the divorce was not finalized. 
maybe they were just too numb and too depressed and too exhausted to even fight to finalize the divorce. Like they were done. They had broken up with the person, but they just not taken care of the paperwork yet, for example. But maybe like meeting you and and feeling that way about you, feeling so strongly, feeling that passion, that romance, that love, that adventure, you know, you brought that side of them out again and you, that needed to happen because they needed, it's like you lit a fire under them. You know what I mean? Like they needed that, um, they needed to feel that emotion again. They needed to feel that passion again to get them to make these life changes. So, I mean, I know it sucks that they kind of went and hid secrets from you and kind of did it on their own, but it's like, they wouldn't have done that had you guys not met is what I feel. They would have just stayed in stagnant energy. They would have just stayed numb. They would have been complacent. They would have been, maybe the karmic was bullying them and they didn't have the energy to fight the karmic and they just, you know, their life was just stagnant. Just nothing was moving. So you, the way they felt about you, um, that passion, that romance, that love, it, it, um, inspired them to, you know, go ahead and make those life changes to go ahead and get custody of their kids, to go ahead and get the divorce, to go ahead and, you know, get off the couch and apply for new jobs so that they can be financially stable for you. Um, it's like that kind of energy like that, that needed to, you, you know, it, you, they need, you guys needed to meet and they had to separate from you to go take care of that. But the meeting had to occur to get them out of stagnant energy and get them to feel something again, get them to care about their life again, get them to see the possibility of a future, the possibility of, of happiness of, of, you know, a future with you again. Like they, cause they didn't care about anything before they met you and you, you made them feel again. You made them happy again. So, um, so yeah, it's a very beautiful reading. It's really good. Um, I'm getting a lot of confident energy. The only blocks I would say right now is just, there's an awkwardness because you guys haven't talked in a while. Um, if, if this person is on your social media, like it, it's probably, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's probably their time to message you. I mean, intuitively, if you feel like you should message them, go for it. It's up to you. It's, it's your life, you know, full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything you do or do not do as a result of the readings. But for some of you, you might, if you're like on each other's social media and like you're waiting for a message from them, it might be good to like, like one of their pictures or like heart react one of their pictures or one of their posts or like, just leave like a little comment, like, like a smiley face, just something to let them know that you don't hate them because some of them, like I said, some of them are having like this epiphany, like, oh my God, I have not talked to them in a month. Like they don't know what to say to you because they feel so stupid, like for letting all this time go by and they're kind of nervous that you might hate them. So, and I'm not saying like put yourself out there a lot. I'm just saying maybe just like a heart react or something just to let them know that, no, you do not hate them. Like, because they're some of them are kind of confused about if you're still open to this connection or not and they're just it's like just this awkwardness because they don't know what to say because like what are they going to say like oh hey how's how's life like you know what I mean like because you're going to be like no dummy like you just you didn't talk to me for a month like you know what I mean like they need they need an opening some of them need an opening is basically what I'm getting at just just a small little opening here just just a little let the light come in <laughs> but um yeah, that's the main obstacle I see right now is just that they're, some of them don't know if they still have that opening with you, but, but something shifted, even if everything's not perfect, something at least shifted. Like I said, maybe they just got the job recently, so they still need some time to get their finances together, but they're, it's at least finally moving that direction. Like something, something good happened here is what I'm feeling. So, um, anyway, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Any donations are appreciated.